Today, we're going to talk about our metric system, and we're going to use a strategy called King Henry. So instead of doing a proportion like we've been doing, there is another way we can do this. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the funny saying that we use. Uh, and so write this down in your notes. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Now, the K, the H, the D, those are letters that are referring to our measurements, units of measure. Um, but we can memorize them by saying King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Okay, I'm going to remind us that we have three different bases. M is for meter, L is for liter, G is for gram. Okay, so if you remember, you've seen this chart on a different video. We can combine any prefix with any of our bases. So kilo, the king, is really a way to remember that kilo is going to be the first uh, prefix that we have. Henry is going to be really talking about our hecto. D, Henry died, is for our deca. Bi is our base, and we know that there are three different bases that we can have, uh, and then it, and so on. So our K that is with our king, our kilo, can be combined with kilometers, liters, or grams. It can be combined with any base. Notice that kilo is in every single one of those words. Same goes with hecto, hectometer, hectoliter, and hectogram. So we are just going to keep track of the order of all of these prefixes by using our saying, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Again, the ones that we usually don't see are the hecto and deca. We don't see those a lot. It doesn't mean that we don't, we won't, See them ever, but we tend to think of the kilo and then possibly these three on the back side. All right, so with that, we have three different letter lineups. So when I'm saying King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, I'm referring to those prefixes. I can have a letter lineup where I'm using M for the meters, and notice that it's the second letter on all of these, for the most part. Uh, the M right in the middle, that's because it's a base. It's a single letter there. And then we have the deci, centi, and milli. I could have the exact same letter lineup, but now instead of having all of those Ms, meaning meters, I have an L for the liters. So mark all of these down so that you have it. Again, kiloliter, hectoliter, decaliter, and then the plain single L, that's because of the base, liters. And then the third one is, a, is grams, kilogram, hectogram, decagram, and then the plain single G, that's where our base is for grams. We're going to be using these three letter lineups, and you'll see how I write them on the notes page. Okay, so the first problem, we have 5 km and equals blank m. So we have five kilometers, and I need to find out how many meters it is. The first thing that I want us to think about is what base are we using, because that's going to help our letter line up. And the second letter is an m. We have an m here. So my base, that middle line, is an m. But then I'm going to go ahead and write an M below all of those big capital letters underneath the King Henry died so that I'm really reading it as kilometer, 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 hectometer, decameter, so that I can see that the M is actually combined with a letter. The middle one, that base M, that's just the plain old M for meter. Okay, so I always have to come up with a starting point and an ending point we know that we have five kilometers. So I am going to start here at my kilometers and my goal, so this is where I start, my goal is to end at the meters. So I'm going to start, and I do, I do little bunny hop counts and I know that this is one, two, three. This is three places uh, to the right. If I think about the direction that I did my bunny hops, so when I have my whole number five, five kilometers, I can move a decimal point three places to the right, and it is the exact same thing. 
in my whole number five, my decimal point is at the end. It's just invisible. And then I have to move it three places right. So one, two, three. When I fill in with zeros, I know that this is 5,000 meters. And that's our answer. Or you can set up a proportion. If it's straight off of your star chart, you can use that. This is kind of the shortcut method. Let's do another one. 25L equals how many HL? So I need to come up with my base and I see that we have Ls. So I know that I have liters. So again, L is that middle base. It's a single letter. And then I have KL, kiloliter, hectoliter, deciliter. And now I need my starting point. So I'm starting here because that's what I've been given. So I start here and I'm going to move end at my HL. So I need to move once, twice. This is two places. And now the direction that I had to move was left. So that's how I'm gonna move the decimal point in my answer. So take your number 25, that's what we were given. Figure out where's your decimal point. Well, it's invisible at the end. Now I'm gonna move it two places to the left once, twice. So this is 0 0.25, and that's our answer. Okay, mg, 5,000 mg equals how many g? Well, g is going to be the base, so grams, and then I write those letters, g's, underneath all of my King Henry letters. Okay, I am starting here all the way at the mg, and I'm going to end at the plain old g. So once, twice, three times. This is three places. And then which direction did you move? Left. So in your number 5,000, that's what we're starting with. I need to move the decimal point three places left. Right now, that decimal point is invisible. It's at the end. So I first have to show it. Now I have to move it once, twice, three times. And when I put it there, I don't need all of those zeros. It's just five. 5,000 milligrams is equal to five grams. Next example, MM and CM. So my base is my meters. That came from those abbreviations, millimeters and centimeters. So I am starting here and I'm going to end at my centimeters. So it's just one place over. Uh, which direction did we go? We went left. Screen's not writing. So in my number 5.5, .5, I have to move my decimal point one place to the left. And in this, it's already in between those two fives. So I'm gonna just move it right from there, one place left. And I get 0. 0.55. You could also put 0 0.55. Next example, kg to g, 4.25 kilograms. And so I have g as my base. So I'm starting here at the kilograms and I'm moving, I'm ending at the grams. So I need to move once, twice, three times. That's three places. And the direction that we moved, was right, mm, was right. Okay, so I take my 4.25 and I'm gonna move it three places to the right. So in between the two and the five, after the five, and then one more over, I have to fill in with a placeholder zero. My decimal point ends up being at the end for this one. So four, two, five, zero. 4,250 grams. Okay, and the last one, milliliters to liters. Our base is an L, so I have Ls written down on all of those letters. I'm starting at milliliters and I'm moving towards liters. I have to move it once, twice, three times. So I'm gonna make a note of that, three places and I had to move left. Okay, so in my whole number three, where is the decimal point right now? It's invisible. So you have to put it there, and now you have to move it three times to the left. So once, 
twice, three times, there's my decimal point, which means I have to fill in with placeholder zeros, 0 0.003. Okay, again, you can use a proportion. This is just mm, sometimes a little bit easier and faster if you don't have that star chart memorized or if you don't have a star chart on you. This is something that you can use. All right, happy practicing.